So I just want to try and show you Phil's pot belly that we're talking about, which is why I originally went to the vet. Because if you look at him from this angle, you could argue that he's tubby. But then if I show you it from this angle, you'll see how skinny his back end is. Because he's got a massive shoulders and head. Yeah. He's not even But fat. actually here, he really goes in. It's normal, dog's supposed to go in there. But he just looks odd. Yeah, he's just got his little there, pot belly. It's three times that. Say hello. Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So Phil is just back from another vet visit. I'm losing count of where we're up to now. Um, the blood work came back, so he's had nearly, it'll be four weeks, it's four weeks today actually, on liver medication. And um, they were doing blood work to see how his kidneys were coping with the liver medication, if they were able to filter it out, and also to see if his, if you hear noise, that's Teddy trying to get in, he's jumping and launched himself at the French windows. Um, they were also doing tests uh, to see if his liver enzyme count has come down as it was, it was off the, it wasn't even um, recordable what his liver enzyme level was, which means it was over 1500 and it's supposed to be 83. It's called ATP, I think it's called. And his ALT is, APT and ALT, his ALT levels are normal and his ALP levels are the ones that are concerned. So he's supposed to be at about 80. Oh my God! <gasps> Milo! He literally just jumped up on the bookcase where the trolley was and he, um, he pulled that trolley down and it went flying. I can't honestly look at him. He's about to go again. Anyway, let me get Phil in the frame this is all about Phil um yeah so his ALP is the one that's oh he's just lying down now hold on we'll get there we'll get there let's move the table out the way is that good will that do um oh actually this angle if I lay down you can see his bandage right I'm trying to stay on point here um right so his ALP is the one that's a concern. Last time you couldn't even record it, it was so high. So it must have been 15 times at least higher than what it should be. This time it's at 1,413, so it was measurable, but only just. And that's over 14 times what it should be. So the liver medication isn't helping reduce his liver enzyme count, which means that we're not treating whatever the root cause of it is. Um, and that's where we stand today. So. We don't know what's causing his liver enzyme count to be so high. Teddy is being really, really full on. Um, yeah, we don't know what's causing his liver enzyme count to be so high. Um, the next test that we went for today is, um, he had two blood tests today. He had one pulled first thing on an empty stomach. And then um, afterwards, he had to stay there for an hour after he's had his blood work pulled and he has a baseline for the morning, he gets injected with something. Um, I'll put it in the description because honestly, I would just be I'm reading you off Google. I don't fully understand it. But he gets injected with some sort of cortisone, cortisol thing. Um, and then they take his bloods an hour later and how his body breaks down what they put in his body. If it goes, if it starts breaking it down, then it shows that he's not got something called Cushing's disease. And if it goes higher, then it shows that he's got Cushing's disease. Now we have tested for Cushing's disease three years ago and the vet has got his medical records from when we tested for that. It was back in 2019 before we went to see the specialist for alopecia because Cushing's is also a reason for hair loss. And it came back negative then, but also we've looked at the uh, blood work there and it said that his liver enzymes were completely normal then. So the fact that his liver enzymes now have shot up, they think is because his body is producing too much steroid. And if it's uh, Cushing's disease, then that's what happens. And um, that could be why his liver is having to produce so many enzymes to break down the amount of steroids his body is producing. So if it is Cushing's disease, then if we can treat the imbalance, then hopefully his liver wouldn't need to produce the enzymes that it's producing. And they, the vet said that because it's only one liver level, you know, when I said that ALP versus ALT, because his ALT level is normal, but his ALP is um, the one that's really, 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 really high, then 
that suggests that you know it's not a liver issue the liver is one of them is i don't understand it i really don't i'm trying to explain it but i don't understand it anyway cushion's disease is the next test and if it's not cushion's disease i honestly don't know what's next I don't know what other options we have. I've been trying to avoid sedation as much as possible. So no biopsies, etc. Because of his heart murmur to start with, he's older. Um, and yeah, I want to get like a CT scan, but he needs to be sedated for that. So he's had many ultrasounds, but he's not had a CT or anything because all of that requires sedation. So And biopsies generally require sedation. So I'm trying to hold off that for as long as possible as a last resort. But I don't really know what would come next, if not cushions. And I know cushions is... It's an expensive disease, it's a manageable disease, but it is something that requires constant monitoring because the levels go up and down, so you're constantly having to adjust medication and find the right balance. Um, but at least it's treatable. So at the moment, my eggs are kind of in the bar. I never thought I'd be hoping for my dog to have a disease. But where I am today is I'm hoping that Cushions is going to come back positive, that we've finally got an answer. We've, we're one month down the line with all these tests now. Um, look at him. And yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. So he's had the blood work all done today. We're just waiting for the results to come in. And after that, I honestly don't know what's next. I'll just update you as soon as we get his cushions result. But look at his little bag. Let me just show you. His adorable little... Bill, you're, you're covering it. Are you shy? There it is. My little man in his little bandage. That's such a good boy. Look, can you hear that paw constantly at the window? He hates not being centre of attention, Teddy. Anyway, that's where we're up to. That's the latest Phil update. Uh, oh, te by the way, Miley did go up there eventually. After pulling down all the furniture. Mm. Anyway, that's where we're up to today, guys. And the next video will be his Cushions disease outcome. He's what? He's happy. Phil's happy? What happened? Where did he go? I got back. You went to the vet. Tell mommy what happened. It's happy. You fixed him? Yeah. What did they give him? Dress. A dress. Dressing. Dressing. Did they? Yeah. Let me see. Phil, can I see your dressing? Oh, he's got a little band-aid. Do you think it hurts him? Has he got an ouch? Yeah. Give him one. Yeah. Okay, one is a treat. One treat. Go on then, you can give Phil one treat. You want to give Phil one treat? No, these. Not these? You want to give him something else? Yeah. You want to give him a doggy treat? These. Give one of these. Go to Daddy and Daddy will help you. Okay. Tell him to sit. Sit. Listen. Tell him. Listen. Say good boy. Good boy. Ask him for his paw. 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 <laughs> he gave it to me. You ask for it. Paw. Phil, she's asking for paw. Paw. Paw to Amelia. Paw to Amelia here. Paw. Paw. There you go. You, uh, hold on to it. Uh, there you go, Amelia. You take them and tell him. Tell him to speak. Yeah. Turn around. Speak. Speak. Phil, listen. Shout it. Speak. Keep saying it louder. Speak. Speak, Phil. Phil, speak. Tell him. Tell him you give him a treat and speak. <gasps> he spoke! Say it again. Speak. Speak, Phil! Speak! <laughs> Good. Give him the treat then. <laughs> <laughs>